What's up guys, Grey Wolf here. It's finally happening. After years of anticipation, months of speculation, we're now down to just weeks before release, and everyone wants a look at the game. So without further ado, I bring you guys exclusive CS3 content. I will warn you though, spoilers ahead. Well, I can't show you exactly oh, what CS3 looks on, like. Man. I signed an NDA while doing the beta test back in November, December. An NDA means non-disclosure agreement. I don't intend on breaking that. But we will look at the content that they have released, share our opinions, thoughts, mainly my opinions and thoughts. You can leave yours in the comments below. But let's talk first graphics. Seeing that we have new cell phones that cost $1,000 each, CS3's graphics are just a little bit better than CS2. And of course, this is fully optimized for Android phones and other phones and tablets that don't cost $1,000 each. Another thing that you'll notice in CS3 is the landscape. The landscape. The beautiful <laughs> European setting, lush green forests, inspiring scenery, and the quaint, friendly German towns. CS3 makes you feel right at home right away. Immediately you feel enveloped in the town and the atmosphere. You enjoy taking long drives down the winding roads stopping to admire the mountain ranges in the distance, or just listen to the birds chirping in the background. It feels full, it feels lush. The towns feel synthetic to a real German town, complete with planter boxes and flowers in every window, and the friendliest people on the streets that you can meet. You start off in Pecklingham Sea, a quiet little town on a river bend, and before long you move into the Neunstein district. Neunstein, Neunstein, Neunstein. I think I'll figure it out eventually. Once I entered this district, I immediately felt like I was at home. Being from an industrial town myself, it felt authentic. Again, I felt truly enveloped in the game. I actually felt like I was driving down the streets myself. And there's a lot of cool contracts to do there. Which leads me to the next part of this, this discussion here. The contracts. There are a few changes from the predecessor in CS2, one being advanced construction. This is a lot of fun. At first it felt like a glorified tutorial, but once you get past the first phases and you really start getting into the advanced construction, it's just a fun way to really see your construction site come to life and watch the buildings grow in the town that you're developing. We even see the return of the very popular land development contracts such as the ones in CS2. And with this, we now have the option to replay the contract. There's really no shortage in diversity of the contracts. Now, I don't want to spoil everything for you, but when speaking of diversity, I also think of all of the new machines that you'll be able to use in CS3. Of course, some of the older ones make it back into the game from companies like Liebier, Caterpillar, Atlas, but now we have new machines from Bobcat. And I know that's something a lot of people have been asking for. And you might not know this, but the developers do listen. Thanks guys, those birds were obnoxious. Now onto the one thing that we were all very excited to see in the release trailer, cab view. Cab view? Not cab view, driver's seat view. And this was published on the Facebook. You can find the full video. Link is in the description below. But can you believe it? We finally have cab view, driver's seat view. And this is just a small portion of what to expect when you play CS3. Go ahead, have a look around the interior. Take in the view as you compact the streets. Or get a good look at the soil that you're scooping. You would genuinely enjoy the construction experience while playing CS3. Another place you might enjoy? The gravel pit. Now this isn't the gravel pit that you're used to. It's at least five times larger than the two in CS2. And it also serves as a nice training ground for your new vehicles. A great place to take your new semi truck for a spin or your articulated dump truck. Load your asphalt tipper, cement truck, or set up a ramp and see how far your semi trucks can fly. I guarantee you will enjoy visiting the gravel pit this time around. Now let's talk about the third district. In the beta, we weren't allowed to visit this district because it wasn't finished yet. But that doesn't mean we can't speculate. From what was released, we can see that a majority of the larger contracts will be completed here in Neustein. And if anyone remembers the reveal trailer, we can all certainly agree that we will be able to use a drill rig or an auger. Now, if you played CS15, you know how complicated this machine can be. 
but you also know how much fun the contracts can be. And here we see a large bridge connecting two masses of land. So we can certainly assume that a large bridge construction contract is in the horizon for us in CS3. Each game of the Construction Simulator series continues to break new ground and expand into the pages of legacy. Each game thrusts itself into the hearts and minds of its players, setting new standards and breaking old rules. CS3 is slated to release later this year in the spring, and you can find out more by following them here on the Facebook page. And if this doesn't convince you, then let me tell you this. You can play CS3 anywhere. And for the cost of a coffee, it will bring you hours of endless joy. You can be stuck in a bathroom or stuck in traffic. It doesn't matter. You could be kayaking or on a train or a plane. You can play Construction Simulator anywhere. So let's recap here. Construction Simulator 3 is offering a new European setting new contracts, including advanced construction and the ability to replay old contracts, long anticipated and exciting new machines, and another much anticipated groundbreaking driver's seat view. And with all of this, it's hard not to give it five out of five. Upon release, I urge you to make the investment into Construction Simulator 3. It will be the best money you spend all year. And don't be afraid to follow this channel. I'll be releasing content every week. And you can also follow us on the Construction Simulator Instagram at Construction Simulator 3. You can also direct message the page. Have your own construction sites featured. Thanks again for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Look out for my Construction Simulator Hardcore series coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe and continue to follow the Facebook page for more info.